And we're back. Yep. Let's uh, check the volume. Podcast is back. I think we're good. We got a guest too. What's up? Hey, yeah, we Nick, Nate, we got our buddy Austin here. We got Zach in the building. Uh, this is our coworker, our friend, our uh, our buddy, our the buddy, homie. Xbox, uh, Warzone duo guy, duo guy. We can we can talk about Dang. some DMZ this episode. Uh, shout out to Dane, he made the beat. Uh, he mixed and mastered yep. uh, all of our episodes, our last episode. And uh, shout out to everybody watching. Let's get right into this episode, shall we? I like it. All right, we have uh, Jason Voorhees up here because it is Friday the 13th currently yep. for us. Um, there's some... It is. Just check the date. There's some super awesome neighbor bump. Oh, I think it stopped. All right, sweet. That was annoying me. Okay, so it's Friday the 13th. I got to switch this. Yeah, you're a few behind. Anyways, got a few things to talk about today. Don't do drugs, kids. Um... Got a few things everyone's drinking, you know. What do we got? Yeah, we what got do we got, Zach? What do we got? Yo, don't ask me. Ask Austin. Austin, what do you Austin, got? Austin, what'd you bring? Yeah, what right. is that stuff? So, uh, that's like a homemade vodka-based drink. What is it? Like cinnamon, cinnamon apple? Yeah. Cinnamon apple, I think. It's pretty, it's pretty smooth. Yeah. Did and you it, try it? $15 a bottle? I did try it. It's good, dude. You said $15 a bottle? Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly? Yeah. My dad's my dad's buddy Rob Burke. Rob Burke's the man, funniest dude I've ever met. What else you got there? Uh, that big red. We got big red. Southern drink. Southern drink. Southern drink. Uh, one of you southerns. <laughs> do you want to try it now? Yeah, I do want to try it now. It's better when it's ice All cold. Right. <laughs> so get this: Austin's name is Austin, and he's from Austin, Texas. I'm not from Austin, Texas. It's from Boston, no, Texas. Yes, he's Austin from Texas, he's but Austin he's not from, from Austin, Austin, Texas. There you go. Can we just yeah. pretend? <laughs> Anyways, so we got this big red. It says "so sweet, so smooth." Oh yeah. Let's just dive right in. I'm drinking a Heineken. Uh, cheers, everybody. What is that? Is that just a soda? Yeah. Cream soda. That Sounds literally gross. slaps. Tastes like exactly what I remember it to taste like, which is cherry medicine. Cherry medicine. I don't want that. Cherries suck and medicine sucks. Like that drink oh, that's not right. drinking? Not cherry that's medicine. Right. That's that drink real cherry I'm all right awesome. on that. It's, it's, I think you got a little cherry in your tooth right there. I got, do I got some? You got some. It's still, I'll pick it for you, dude. You got a nail in your tire, dude. I'll do it. I'm not. Is that your gum? Where? Bro, get your fingers out of his mouth. What kind of podcast <laughs> is this? Dude, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't actually oh, look I it. I got it. See, I told I you, bro. It. I'm yeah, just I looking out for you. It. I'm not Thank being you. weird. I saw it. Yep. Well, it's funny, dude. Appreciate I used you. To, I used to know this dude. <laughs> It's so weird. I used to know this dude. His name was <laughs> Tristan, I think, from Pekin, and his gum grew over his tooth. I remember really? Tristan. Yeah. It's that, right? That same. Tristan? The same Tristan? The Funny, same. dude. He was, in, he was a ginger, too. Weird. Wait, Zach. Anyways, that drink sucks. I'm getting really touchy-feely this episode. That drink sucks. I'm not oh. going to lie. I'm not a fan of Big Red. Really? Mm -hmm. tastes, tastes Big no. Red, man? No. No, 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 no. That, that ain't slaps. it. It ain't it. It's gross. There's a reason nobody buys it. If you've ever tried it, if you ever tried it, leave a comment. Tell us how it is. They barely. There's barely a reason nobody beer. buys it. Yeah, it's just too sweet. Well, obviously, people me. still buy it if it's if it's in stores. Uh, since 1937, <laughs> there's a gum called Big Red. Dr Pepper. The, elder, says, the elderly 1885, are keeping them in business. bro. Yeah. 1885. Made in the same place. Oh, Crafted really? from the crazies. Are you? Oh, Waco? Waco. Waco, Texas. This yeah. is a good beer. Yeah. Heineken. Heineken's. That's what you guys yeah. are drinking. Heineken. Yeah, you're drinking That's what is that it? That's that good shit. Is it that Jack Fire? Jack Fire and Big and Red. Big Red. Yeah, I'm drinking classic. Or Jack Fire and Dr. Pepper, man. Mm hmm. Jack Fry and Dr. Pepper probably isn't bad. I'm just, Mike's, I'm not much of a Jack person. Mike's Red Hot Candy. Have you ever had we, it? Yeah, that's, I don't. That's what it tastes like. I don't like it. Really? No. I'm not, I wasn't a fan of the candy either, but the drink's good. Spicy we went to, candy's remember weird. Remember when we went to the keg and 
she poured me a drink and I was like, mm, that's Jack. Yeah. And I had bar- one too. I just, the, I drank and it. And Nate was like, oh, I didn't even, I couldn't even tell. I was like, I'm not drinking. She this. just poured you something randomly or what? She, I wanted a Captain Coke and she Cap poured me a Coke, Jack. Jack and Coke. And I was, and I was same, like, when you're talking like this, I'm not drinking that. I took one big gulp and I was like, Ugh. nope, don't do the Jack. So I, I found the other bartender. I was like, uh, can you make a Jack or a captain? This is, this is a Jack. It's supposed to be a captain. She was just like, she tried okay. it. She tried she it. She did. She took a sip. She did she take didn't a believe sip. You, she bro. didn't believe oh, me. She did. Dude, I know my captain. And she definitely like, I, made a new one. If you pour me a drink and you tell me it's captain, whatever, I'll know if it's not. Well, it's your drink. It's what I drink. It's your drink. It's yeah. the signature. That's it. A Moscow Mule every once in a while. Those are Dude, good. Those we are having, fire. We were having those we had last a couple, night. We had, we, yeah. Nate bought a round at Vitense last night. I love Moscow Mules, I drank one of they those. They weren't as good at last they night. They were good. Though. I drank one. Last the night one, sucked. No, the one last night, the the original Moscow Mule was really good because it had that, that little bit of a spice to it. It had yeah. the ginger beer and it was really like potent. It had a lot of ginger flavor. Yeah, yeah. But I got the apple cranberry one and that was, for me, that was not it. Why? Too sweet? It tasted like Big Red. It had like a it had like a really sweet, almost cinnamony flavor to it, and I was Gnarly. like, Ugh. "There, stop talking." Trash. I don't like <laughs> red over yo, there. yo, you like candy canes? You like peppermint like that? Like, like people that just eat a candy cane straight up? Mm, what about ginger snaps? Canes. I don't think so. You know those little mints? Those That's little it. Mints? When I'm having a bad day at work, in the balls. <laughs> God, it's, it's, you know what I'm talking about? The little mints in the balls that are kind of dry, dude. Yeah. Oh, like the like the foam. It's like foamy, and it. Co- Are you talking about like the mint itself is like a ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's you bite into it, and it turns chalky. Yeah, not foamy. I, yeah, I meant chalky. I like those. Yeah, those are those good. are all right. Yeah, I don't like it's candy the pillow canes. mints. It's yeah. like the pillows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are weird, dude. No. Those are the pillow. You know mints? what's bad? You know what's bad is uh, it's coming around Valentine's Day. The heart. Shape. Yuck. Dude, <laughs> yuck! <laughs> the yuck. the heart shaped candies that say "kiss me, hug me." What? Oh, a, yeah, 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 dude, yeah. they come in a little chalk. Bad. Those, you can they're, write they're, with that. You like, can oh. write with them on a blackboard. <laughs> it's chalk. It's a chalkboard. It's yeah. chalk. The only thing they were good for in school was throwing at your buddies. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean. Those are good yeah. for letting them dissolve in water and yeah. just watch the <laughs> colors go. <laughs> they're so Crazy. bad. All right, so speaking of eating and food and candy. And oh, slide that bird over here, baby. Yeah, we got, we were, pheasant hunting is back on. We're going out to the pheasant farm, and uh, we went out Sunday, shot at least a, we like had each our limit, I would say. They put out 10. What's, what's limit today? Let's get some gunshots in there and post. I don't know what. Hannah just tells you limit, dude. We no, but uh, <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't want to say <laughs> the number. Limit. I don't want to say like a, a definite number, and everyone's like, "Oh shit!" Like, and then shot the that many birds. I yeah. you, <laughs> DNR comes. DNR's up. like, "Hold on, real quick. Where were you?" <laughs> you said it was like 113 or something like that. Right? <laughs> 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 no, but so this was one from last season. It's smoked. This bird's extinct now, right? This is a smoked pheasant, dude. So th- just for everyone that doesn't know, this the whole bird. We got the whole bird. We got the legs. Sorry for anyone that might be a little squeamish. Squeamish, or you know, you looks like but my this childhood was, pet. This was something so we went out and hunted. I don't know when or where, but one of us shot those birds. Linden smoked it himself. Cleaned it. Smoked it. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Boy. It's ready to eat. <laughs> it's a. It, I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. Got, Oh, dude, that skin is tough. Uh huh. Oh, there you go. Oh, should I should put it right? Get some oh, of that ASMR. A- a- yeah, what does that stand ASMR? for? I don't a- know. There you go. Now you can just right. take a piece of it. Oh yeah, good. It's like beef jerky. Damn, son. He goes. You want some of this, or you want the bird? Yo, it tastes like. Oh, Let me man. get in there. 
What is that? Pork. Really? What is that? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? It tastes like a like when you do like a, a Christmas ham or something. Oh, yeah. It tastes like and ham. And then you oh, yeah. let this you like thing. you're eating the leftovers of it. Oh, Here, I'll you can. Some. I'll get some. What? Yeah, that's good stuff, dude. You almost need like a knife, fork. Holy shit. Yeah. Damn, son. That's all right. You like it? Yeah. Why were you so nervous? Because it looks like this. Because I just, we always, I have a bunch of them in the freezer and we'll like make, we've made nuggets out of them and stuff and added them to like soup, but I've never just smoked, like. That's a bird. I've never smoked it. Yeah. So you, have you, you've made your own chicken nuggets before? Yeah. Have you ever tried breading them in Cheez-Its? Mm-mm. Oh. Yeah. Really? Try, you gotta try that. So yeah, what do they call it? Um, I don't know. From from the field to farm to table, whatever it is. Farm fresh. Farm fresh, yeah. It was more like, dude. Was he in the air when you shot him? Yeah, they're yes, yeah. They fly. You didn't. You didn't water swat him. No, we don't shoot. <laughs> we have too many dogs to shoot birds that are on the ground. My grandfather. Told I got me. lead. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My guy. He got a piece. You gotta Save put the that. metal you gotta, put, that. You gotta yep. put the little metal detector over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see where some of them went in. Yeah. Yeah, I got one right here. Yeah. I can still feel it. hmm I think I sw- I had a little crunch <laughs> on one. You gotta watch that dog. What was it? Lead. <laughs> Well, it's not like really. No, bad. it's not. <laughs> he said I had a little crunch on one. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. It, you wouldn't break it. I can tell you that. No, you'd, you'd have an you, issue. You'd too. have an issue if you crunched down on that. That's crazy. Live, taking Nate to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is it. We hunt these oh. every other weekend. Every other Sunday, we go out to the farm, pheasant farm, up in. Holy Beaver shit! Dam, that was good. Shoot a bunch of birds. I mean, you have to pay. We. Hannah and Lyndon, they <laughs> pay to put out birds every other weekend, and I think they we put out between however many people can head out. There's probably they th- I think they drop ten birds for us, and then we bring the dogs out and just go on a nice hike Stroll. with the dogs and let them point and flush birds out. Hope to pick them off and let what- the dogs get have some fun. Catching birds. What kind of what kind of other dogs are you guys hunting with? Just labs. Really? Mm-hmm. So we have Levi. Does Levi try and point? He he yeah, he points. Does he? Mm-hmm. He'll sit there and when he's on a bird and he sees one, he'll stop and point. Really? Right on it. Everyone can yep. kind of tell when they're dogs. Anna's got a few GoPro it's getting of, birdie. Uh, plenty of GoPro videos of him just sitting and pointing. He's really good at flushing birds out. He's really, really good with retri- retrieving because he's got like, he's got a real soft grip. Mm-hmm. So he, he does not tear into birds. You know, he won't sit there and like, because some dogs, every, when we go out every once in a while, like if all three dogs are on a bird and they're all trying to take it from each other, they'll like just start tearing into it. And you'll get a bird, <laughs> dude, seriously. It's, <laughs> Fuck. It, it's kind of brutal. Like, like, good boy. Yeah. Yes. Right. Well, you got it. They're competing for the bird. The, yeah. bird is the, the bird's the prize. So and you don't they, want them. You don't really want them all going for the same bird because then you get a disappointed dog that doesn't bring you a bird, you know. And you destroy his morale. Right. You, you, so we try yeah. to keep them like separate. When, when, one, when a bird goes down and a, all three dogs take off, you, we try to be like, oh, just hold on. But... We also have taught Levi because the other two dogs we hunt with, they um, are those the young ones. Yeah, they have a tendency to shred, tear, tear into birds, sit there and kind of pick at them. So we <clears> kind <throat> of Hannah, Hannah actually trained Levi to go take the birds from them and then bring them back. So it works when it works, but sometimes they Levi, you know, he is a huge. He's a big teddy bear, so. As soon as they take the bird back, he sits there and he's like, uh, it's like, get the effing 
Get the fucking bird. Like, get the bird. I Bring it back. Uh, I didn't go out with Willie last season. <clears throat> it's so fun. Yeah. It's because it, Levi, he's such a relaxed dog, but he's, as soon as he's out, he, dude, it was the first weekend out. It's icy. It's muddy. His, he hasn't hunt. He hasn't gone out all season. So he's Cause just, he got spayed, right? Mm-hmm. Dude, he so, lost so much weight. Yeah. Dude, we, we actually put him on the scale. We took, had him a vet appointment from last week. He weighed 109. <laughs> 109. 109? Yeah, so Damn. he's still big. He's, he's a, a big boy. boy. Yeah. But yeah, he was just like, his paws were just raw. He's got icicles hanging from his belly because he's just running. And he's still just like, he's like a different animal when he's out hunting. Did you it's guys, crazy. Do you guys not have him any boots or anything? He'll get, I mean, we, it'll take a couple times, but he'll be all right. He'll develop calluses. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Last um, season, he didn't have any issues, but he hasn't really gone out at all since last season, a year ago. So, speaking of ice, uh, next week we're hoping to get out on the ice. Yeah, uh, ice fishing. Uh, did you, you, go did you drill? Wisconsin? Did you drill a hole yet, or I can? Oh, you called the local shop, and they t- said it was good. Yeah, so. yeah. DNS tackle. DNS bait and tackle on the north side, uh, on one th- off right off of one thirteen. Great guys, stop in there. They'll have uh, reports that come out. I think every Friday, to they just kind of shout out where the fish are are dope. at in the, dope. In yeah, the area. We're, we're hoping to get out on the ice next week, and then hopefully have you have a walleye. To uh, do we need tags for walleyes? Uh, they no, have no, to be. You, you, have you to just need, need your fishing license. Need your to, license. And they got to be over like what is the what is the measurement this year? I don't. I, I don't know what they are. You got to. We'd have up. to look into that. We'd it's have eighteen. To, like a DNR. Yeah. Magazine or whatever the most recent. Make, make sure. Is. Make sure you're in regulations, basically. Yeah. So if you have a fishing license, the only thing you need really like hit up Nick Wiggles. Uh, stamps for are what? Uh, trout. I, I have no idea stamps. what's fishing, dude. Yeah, trout. Trout. I think are the ones you need like stamps for. I like guns. Guns are fun. You can take guns. guns. You can go fishing. Guns are with awesome. Guns. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, do you guys want to go out and do uh, let's <clears throat> trap shoot, bow fishing sometimes? Bow Ooh, fishing. Bow fishing. I was just gonna say. I got I've, a buddy that runs a charter for bow really? fishing. That'd yeah, be fun. Goes out and shoots. I've carp. seen like the yeah the carp fit. Yeah, that would be super fun. Mm-hmm. We're supposed let's to fucking, go this I'll, summer. So I'll get him on the line. I gotta get my buddy Hunter on the line. I want to say Hannah as a bow fish. Maybe, maybe. I know she, I don't know. It's Alex, 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 I'd have to ask her. Cabela's has got all of the setups. Really? Yeah. You go out at night, dude. It's just a vibe. Mm-hmm. Can... We got that little pontoon boat I've been fixing up, so I'm going to put a platform on that and some lights, and we'll see what happens. I live right on the marsh, so Perfect. we can do all that fun shit. The marsh. The marsh. <laughs> Get all in there. So there's hybrids of walleye, but it says the minimum length is 15 inches. Yeah. Oh, so went like down. I thought, it was, I thought it was 16. I thought it was 18 still. Or 17 maybe. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it did go down. Dope. Because them, them little ones are like, they're better eaten. Better eaten in the mouth. Oh, they're not as good. <laughs> taste buds. Dude, when we went out, they had some... Massive birds when we went out on Sunday. Huge. Pheasants? Yeah. But I guess the... Ditch chickens? Yeah, ditch chickens, yeah. That's what I was calling them. Did you ever see that video? Who's the... Ditch chickens. The podcast? (laughs) Yo, you know why you always uh, see him in the ditch? What is his name? It's Charlie Burns. Charlie Burns podcast. Did you guys see that? They're at the bar doing their podcast and the dude calls in. The dude calls in, bro. And he's like, oh, hold on. There's a couple ditch chickens on the road. Let well, me, he let was me on like hold or something. He was what are you guys hold. talking about, though? You've never seen talking this? Talking about pheasants. You got to look at the video. Okay. You know why they call them ditch chickens? Why? It's because they need that gravel to like digest their food. So they go to the side of the road and they get that gravel off of it. But yeah, it was a different podcast yeah. that yeah. they were doing Weird. an episode. And this dude called into their podcast and stopped in the middle of what he was saying and was like, oh, I got a couple on the side of the road. He pulled over and... You could hear the gunshots in the background. And he was like, oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> He's like, I need two. I need three more for our limit. Yeah, I need three more for a limit. <laughs> Dude, I'll hear gunshots outside my house all the time this year. Dude, that, boom, it's boom, stuff boom, like, boom. You, you ever go like, you can get, area? yeah, you can get like, okay, yeah, I thought ditch you, asparagus. we're going to go ice fishing too. Okay. Sweet. You ever tried ditch asparagus? <laughs> no. Yes. 
from you. Yeah. And it was good as fuck. Dude, swear to God. What the hell is ditch asparagus? It's asp- you know asparagus that yeah. you get at the grocery store? It grows in, in the wild. On the side of, like, if you're driving on the back roads, like if you get a right around time. your place, if you look on the ditch, you'll see the, in, I don't know in that the I've spring ever... and summer, you'll see asparagus. If you're driving, it's crazy. Road, you and you get a flat tire. Straight up. We, Ann and I pulled over and I chopped it off. I cooked it and it's, <clears throat> it's asparagus, bro. It's ditch asparagus. It's so crazy. And That's it grows, wild. it grows tall as, dude, it's tall. Like you don't really expect to see it, but when you see it, it's like you 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 know what you're looking at. Once you see asparagus, it's like, oh shit, there's some asparagus in the ditch. Yeah, you can ditch asparagus, well, ditch like, chickens, all of it. I'm surprised you don't have a garden, dude. There's like ditch raspberries uh, too. Like, yeah, we tried once, dude. But you get we're foragers. <laughs> yeah, I know it was you mainly just eat, like, pots wild up front, rhubarb. But oh. I think wild rhubarb will kill rhubarb, you dead. Yeah. My grandpa oh, was dude, my grandparents garden. had a rhubarb. Yeah, uh, I want to get grow it. It's next fine, year. but if it's like wild, like really, sketchy, are you guys still talking about yeah. asparagus? Sorry, Just talking about wild veggies, stuff. wild stuff, wild stuff that you can find in the ditches of Wisconsin. Oh, my absolute! <laughs> hold on, it's pretty much my deer. absolute favorite deer. thing. There's uh, there's there's three different seasons in the year. It's my absolute favorite thing to catch. Um, I have footage of it too. Uh, very rare and. The area we that we live, but wild pickles. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> oh, you spit again. This is two times in a row that Not you on spit. The couch. It's just. Let me tell you, dude. You're gonna trade There's nothing that. better than biting You're into so a crisp dumb. wild pickle. You're so dumb. Ah, uh, there's backstory to this. You don't even. We might have to put that on the TV sometime. You don't even clean the pickles. Not. Nah. No, they don't actually it. fucking grow no, wild. Yeah, they, yeah, they, <laughs> no shit. <laughs> oh shit. No. It's not that they don't grow wild. It's this that the seasons that you catch them in, <laughs> it's like, either snowing or it's like, raining. It's like and they're still you, the same. You just don't. You don't have to. Oh my gosh. They're clean, dude. This. They fall from the sky. From the pickle gods. <laughs> oh, we can't say God on the they, podcast. They, they, they grow. Sometimes you find them under rocks. <laughs> okay, sorry. <clears throat> you and your Ooh. pickle. <laughs> yeah. I'm Pickle Rick. It's the most Morning. random thing ever. It'll be like a Sunday afternoon, and all of a sudden a Snapchat from Nate comes in. I found a pickle. Oh, a wild What's pickle. that over there? <laughs> Is that a wild pickle? <laughs> And he'll Beautiful. set it up too. It's like sure a whole. Enough. It's a It'll whole be like on a rock, production. and then he'll yeah. take a bite out of it. He'll like Dude, have it on a rock. Let me tell you. You wake up. You you can sleep in a little bit. It's Sunday. All the kids are at school. The birds are barking. The birds. <laughs> Sunday. The, dog, <laughs> the dogs are chirping. And uh, the window you just go something. catch some wild pickles, dude. <laughs> Catching wild pickles. Oh man, dude, that's funny. You want to know? What my mom always says when we go. Like deer hunting, like oh, did you catch any deer? Did you catch any deer? <laughs> you catch any deer? <laughs> you catch any deer? It's like catching. I'm gonna deers. go catch a deer. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys watch Catching Cooks? Catching Cooks. Do you yeah, guys dude. watch Catching Cooks? Catching Cooks. This is like a. That's my favorite thing to watch on YouTube. Uh, I'm not a big YouTube guy. Fowler's Maker of Mischief. He's dope. Uh, Mav. I'm more of a Facebook. You should send more of those to me. I'm a Facebook real. Yeah. Fisherman's Life, Ace Videos. Those are my guys, dude. Dude, Facebook Marketplace. I was on COD the other day, and I joined a random lobby on DMZ. This dude was talking about he's not been on Facebook in 15 years. I was like, have you heard of Facebook Marketplace? You can buy and sell things. <laughs> he was like, ah, oh, no. And it's less creepy than Craigslist. Craigslist? Uh, linked to your Facebook account. Do you remember <laughs> you Craigslist, know? bro? Yeah. Craigslist was crazy. You never know people what's on the other end of there. Sure. Dude, we used what? to sit in class on our Chromebooks when they first came out, when you first got Chromebooks in high school. Hmm. and they had Oh, dude, you're so young. Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> you got Chromebooks, Chromebooks in high school? when they first came out. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You, you want to see a picture of my computer, my we classroom? When I, too. Dude, they had like... No, okay, when I was in high school... Did was, you guys have smartboards? It wasn't that long ago, but like... No, we a load of other. We never had smart boards in high school. When I lived in Illinois, we had smart boards, but in Pekin, they didn't. Dude, my high school was the first time they tried doing virtual classes, and you got this 
shitty brick laptop that was the slowest thing and it's just like what is this it was i graduated in 2013 yeah so like i was still was in uh, not, middle school yeah dude it it was i was right on the you know the, what i remember kind of in fourth, that was right when that shit was starting in fourth or fifth grade when i was really young this is like, what my fucking <laughs> computer, <laughs> computer would look like dude floppy so, disk shit yo, there you go. dude <laughs> They had what, us. It's, yeah, we'll they save had us the floppy like disk this. story yeah. for another episode, but dude, and they're giving us like typing classes, like no, getting no, us everybody, ready to type now on everybody's keyboard. got keyboarding, yeah, Chromebooks yeah. now, dude. I remember See, doing look that at this. shit. Where's the? This is a bougie one where they all have Macs. I've never seen one of those. Oh, nah, dude, a, my yeah, high school in Hawaii was not it. <laughs> oh, no, look yeah. up, uh, dude. Hey. <laughs> They didn't what? care about education. Worse, worse than the country. What rank, <laughs> yeah, dude. It what was rank not is Hawaii? It. What rank is Hawaii for education? S- I wonder if that dude was right on that YouTube comment section. Oh my God. In th- education. Right there. 27. How is Hawaii oh, ranked number one in healthcare? Because nobody dude. goes to the medical bottom half. Because the air, the dude. Bottom half. They're so fucking there healthy. Yeah. All right, well... Yeah, Hawaii's education system is rough. They got what nice opportunities are there in Hawaii? Unfortunately. I mean, there's plenty of opportunities. Do you like, have just the same opportunities in Hawaii as anywhere else in the world? What's People the that live in the city or die faster, uh, statistically. I don't. Mm, I don't know statistics behind that. What are we trying to... What point, I, what point are we trying to prove here, Austin? Well, Hawaii was... Know, right, okay, well, I'll let you gonna guys know one thing. One next. thing, Hawaii was the best place I've ever lived. Oh, I bet. It was amazing. I want yeah, to go there at crazy. least once. Dude. I wish I was more into food when I lived there. You know? Yeah, that'd yeah. be wild. Like, like, gotta, oh, man. You'd have some cool stuff. I wasn't like a foodie or anything. All right, we can we can. We gotta wrap, wrap this one up. Some stuff, oh, though. shit. Is that already 25 minutes? We're Dude, 27, 27 in. 27 in. Bro, Joe Rogan goes way longer. Dude, my can't. Yeah. That's what she said. I can't. That, okay. Sorry. The, the troll is there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> All right. You anyone want another little... You want to just dive in? Well... Mm-hmm. You might break a tooth. <laughs> tread with caution. With lead. Tread, tread with lead. That's a that's a wrap on another episode. This will be officially. We should be official by the time this drops. Yes, sir. Right. Well, we should be official by the time this drops. Uh, this Did is Hannah episode. This might. What? Hannah, make that. Yeah. Yeah, we she can't can't it. say the name yet, but if you she can see it on the screen, and she printed it and did the iron on. Yep. Um, I think this is episode five. And yeah, I got a cricket. Uh, yeah. Go and check out Ariel's Twitch got a TV gun. link below. <laughs> she got the three though. The Explore three. Yeah. All right. Yeah. She got the two air. Happy Friday the thirteenth, wow. everybody. Lauren Cheers. Got the cricket two. <clears throat> Peace. Hope everyone has a good day. Tell someone you love them and be nice to people. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Shout out to Dane. Shout out to Dane. Shout out to Dane. Shout out to Dane.